All week long, we've been taking a closer look at the impacts of climate change around the world. One thing we know we can expect is warmer winters and more wild, unpredictable weather events. So how is Illinois preparing for those changes and how will it impact us? Our Tara Molina spent weeks connecting with those who are working around the clock to answer those questions, and she's bringing us this special report. We're all familiar with winter and what it takes to prepare for it and just get through it. But a changing winter means new plans. And for those tasked with getting us through the winter season safely, that planning started months and months ago. Snow, ice and slush. We know how to clear it, how to get where we need to go through it and sometimes how to sit back and enjoy it. But the winter we've known, love it or hate it, is changing. It is becoming much more difficult to forecast what exactly is gonna happen. The changing climate, the why. It's literally throwing a wrench into the weather model machine. But right now, we're stuck in the teens. Of course, CBS2's chief meteorologist, Albert Ramon, has much more to share on this topic. But first, we want to introduce you to someone else. Also vested in tracking the change, this is Joe Wagner in the towing business for more than 30 years. It's a pretty treacherous job. Winter is his bread and butter. Because you're up like a fireman 24-7. And once snow hits the ground, he says they don't stop moving. Our winters are our busiest times uh, for people sliding off roads, getting flat tires, crashes that we unfortunately have to deal with every day. Joe says he started hearing talk of a less predictable, possibly wetter winter months ago. It's gonna be a scary winter. The climate change has a lot to do with it. And familiar with the other changing seasons, like the intense flooding we saw this past summer, his team started prepping for it immediately. We started about two months early because we heard it was gonna be a really bad winter. And then we ended up buying extra cables, extra straps, um, spare tires, um, chains, cables, gloves, hats to prepare for this because if this is anything what they're saying, we're in trouble. So the first thing you'll notice is that we have a number. If of we're in trouble, we're in the right place the here. We're always going to have to prepare for the worst day. This is Cook County's Emergency Operations Center. This hub exists to navigate any kind of crisis to keep us all safe, winter weather included. Our winter weather preparation begins essentially when summer starts to fade. Ted Berger leads the team, already in winter prep mode the county's Office of Emergency Management and Regional Security. Our concerns start with monitoring the extreme events like the overwhelming snow events that may happen. Berger says changing weather conditions weigh into planning addressing those concerns and coordinating first responders, their departments and resources from more than 130 municipalities, serving more than 5 million people. We do want to lead a discussion around climate change and how that's changing our work. Examples he gave me? planning for more flooding with more freeze to thaw weather events expected. And when it comes to resources, using a brine solution instead of a traditional road salt that can pretreat roadways long before ice is expected. It is not just simply about snow removal now. It's recognizing that our extreme temperatures and potentially warmer temperatures over time are leading us to seeing more dramatic freeze and thaw cycles than we've previously addressed in the past. Winter is warming everywhere, with temperatures up in 97% of the country since 1970. Out of all four seasons, winter is the fastest warming one, according to Climate Central. Take a look at this. Over the years, the average temperature here in Chicago up more than three degrees. We're seeing more warmer than normal winter days here too. Scientists know that people, especially burning fossil fuels, are the main cause of climate change leading to the heating of Earth. We're still dealing with those now, single digit and low teens. Back to our resident expert. For the remainder of the evening. So when it comes to a warming climate where we're at, we are not the same Chicago area that we were in the 90s or before. Our weather patterns are changing. Making extreme weather harder to predict. Extreme weather are those events that we have that are becoming more frequent, that are impacting our livelihoods, our pocketbooks, 
and in many cases are safe. And can we expect more extreme weather? Based on all of the research from people a lot smarter than me, yeah, more and more extreme weather events uh, are going to be with us. Albert says as far as this winter goes, the Climate Prediction Center projects higher temperatures and less precipitation right here in Chicago. But that doesn't mean you won't need your snow shovel. So here's what may happen this winter. With above average temperatures, there's a less likelihood that Lake Michigan freezes over. So that may mean we may have more lake effect snow days. So who's in play for that? Areas like Southern Cook County, uh, the South Suburbs, Northwest Indiana, because in the wintertime we have that wind that's coming out of the north. And if you have no, you know, ice over the lake, may linger these lake effect snow days all the way into maybe even early spring. So where these lake effect snow bands set up this winter may see several inches of snow that maybe we wouldn't typically see during a normal winter. That is exactly what Joe is gearing up for. Knowing preparation for this is everything. And preparing for change for the unpredictable could one day be considered as normal as the snow, ice, and slush. What do you say to people who don't believe the climate's changing? You better start thinking about it because it is changing and you're gonna find out quicker than you know because it's coming. We put more from the experts we connected with in reporting this in the story you'll find up on our website right now. Reporting downtown, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.